Louis Vuitton bags in a previous video that I had uploaded. Um, I recently got a newer bag, Louis Vuitton artsy bag, which I'm going to be here to kind of talk about for just a few minutes and to go over it. So Louis Vuitton artsy bag is this one. Um, it's a really nice bag. These are probably like one of the more expensive Louis Vuitton bags. I think this one costs over a thousand. <laughs> a little secret. Kind of a lot of money. But um, I really like to recycle my Louis Vuitton bags. So when I'm not using one, um, I try to sell it and then I can get a bigger, better bag. So I've gone through this Louis Vuitton bag. Um, and actually I've gone through other ones to get this one. So this one has one single strap. The strap has like um, a rope kind of pattern right here as well. It's kind of annoying. Like I don't know if you can hear that noise it kind of gets on my nerves it's a little bit annoying um i know it comes in two different sizes i think i got a gm size so it's this big let me see if i can show you the bottom also has the feet on it so then it's not going to be on the ground we have our signature louis vuitton right here as you can see same thing on both sides um inside it has um I have a lot of stuff in here, so I didn't really empty out the bag. But inside it has three pockets. The pockets are eh, kind of shallow, and then it has one zipper pocket. And then everything else basically just has to get dumped into the bag. Um, and that's about it. Um, this one, I'm trying to see what else is in here. Actually, there's three pockets on one side and three pockets on the other side. And then the zipper is located on that side as well. Um, I actually, this is a used bag as well, I got it off of eBay, and I'll kind of talk about Bill Me Later briefly for a moment, because I've had a couple questions about how Bill Me Later works. Um, but this is a used bag, which I will be returning because I was not impressed. Um, you really have to be careful with eBay, because a lot of times sellers do not disclose information that you need to know when you're buying the bag. So this bag right here, as you can see, all along the edges, all the way around, has all these little marks. That was not disclosed when I was buying the bag or bidding for it. And when I got it, I contacted the seller and I was explaining that that's ridiculous that she did not disclose that to me. And now I'm kind of arguing with PayPal about it and getting my money back, trying to do that to get a refund because I don't want it bad that's worth that much money. And, or I've spent that much money and it's that damage. It also has damage, I don't know if you can see that. Right down here, it's missing some of the signature print. And it's just really annoying. It like it kind of cuts you and it hurts. Not comfortable. Um, other than that, I would say the bag is pretty good. The only thing that I personally do not like is the handle. The handle's a little uncomfortable when you put it on your shoulder. It's just awkward. And like one side of the bag is like the front of the bag, and one's on the back because you can kind of tell by the way it's sitting on your shoulder. This one does have a tendency to fall off a lot, which is kind of annoying. So I have to put my arm in front of it, which makes it look all funny. But um, I would say it's a decent bag. Um, I'm going to be trying to get a never full bag instead. I had one a long time ago and I really liked that bag and I got rid of it. And I want to get a new one instead. I don't know if this is my preference. I also don't like that to physically get something you have to take it off your arm and dig in here. So it's kind of annoying. And for the price of it, I just don't think that I would pay as much money. Especially for a bag this quality. But it's a really nice bag. It's a really high-end bag. And most people don't have it, so it actually makes it really unique Louis Vuitton. So you're not going to be walking around and a lot of people are going to have the same bag. Um, whereas, like, you would see some with, like, a Louis Vuitton Speedy. But it's still Louis Vuitton, so why does that matter? Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's an alright bag, and I would definitely say that it's an okay bag. If you can buy it brand new, and I definitely recommend buying it brand new. So, Bill Me Later, basically, let me kind of explain that for a second. Bill Me Later is a program through eBay, which allows you to finance it. It's kind of like having a credit card, but you don't actually get a physical credit card. Bill Me Later can be used to buy airline tickets, um, different products. Like, I know websites like, um, where have I gotten a bought? So, eBay uses Bill Me Later, and a couple other ones. I've bought, like, furniture and other things on Bill Me Later. So, based on how much an item costs, that's how many months you get. So, I think it's, like... Under $400, you have six months to pay it off. If you spend um, maybe like $800, somewhere around there, you get 12 months. And then bag, anything that's like over like 1000 maybe over 800 that's when you get 18 months to pay it off. So this bag I put on and bill me later, and it has 18 months to be paid off. And it's same as cash, so you're just making monthly payments on it. Now how you get that, it's based on your credit worthiness. So of course you have to have good credit to qualify for it. 
Um, but it definitely is a good program, I guess. But again, credit cards and any kind of form of like paying things off is pretty addicting and it can get you in a lot of debt and a lot of trouble. So I definitely would say that if you're a person that gets into that to not do Bill Me Later or put something on credit card, it's just the better idea and the long run will save you money and keep you out of trouble because no one wants to be in in debt and it's not worth it for a Louis Vuitton bag. But if you can get one for maybe like 500 bucks and you can put on Bill Me Later and you can be um, responsible, make sure to make all your payments and be on time, then you're good. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, it goes either way. It's a good system, but just be careful for all those flaws because they do get you and that's how you get into credit card debt. But yeah, that's Louis Vuitton Artsy. Um, and I'll be reviewing some other bags. I have a couple more in my closet that I have to dig out and go through. I will definitely be reviewing those um, once I get a chance. So thank you. Bye.